Hey everybody, hope you're doing well out here painting and wanted to give a real quick painting tip. Uh, one of the things I think it's important when you're painting is to understand how to add details and not add details that are there. And so uh, I'm painting a barn today. I'm gonna show you real quick uh, by flipping over and you can see. So there's the barn. Uh, you can see that you can't really see those tree. There's no tree trunks in those trees. It's just a big mass. And you see a little bit of the details around the barn and there's that house right behind the barn. Um, one of the hard things about art is understanding what do I keep and what do I take out. And so I'll show you what I'm doing here in my painting. Uh, I got my barn there. I kind of got to simplify it a little bit because I think it's important to simplify. But I'm going to go ahead and add a tree trunk in here, even though there's not one in real life. I think it'll add a little bit more interest. Um, and those are those details that you want to add. You notice I'm taking out some of the details from the barn. I'll put a few more in, but I'm not going to put in the house behind there. Uh, so it's important to know what to put in and what See, to take I go out. Ahead. I went ahead and added that tree trunk there. It's not looking organic enough for me, so I'm just going to kind of soften it up a little bit. Um, it's looking a little bit better. So that's a detail. I'm going to go and add a few details here, but I'm not going to add as many details as that are on that barn. Maybe one of those windows, maybe two, but not all of them. And do you see that roof line there on the right hand side of the screen is kind of falling apart? I'm not going to add that either. Um, you add too many details and I think sometimes you ruin the simplicity of your picture. So let's see if I can add those. see if I can give it a little bit of a highlight. I didn't follow it exactly like I'm seeing it, but close enough. This is where the idea of impressionism comes in. I just want to give the impression of a detail. These things are easy to overpaint, easy to underpaint. There's a few details there. One of the last things I'm going to work on is this roof line here. It's just so straight. Just this really hard line. This is hard lined. This is hard lined. So I got to soften a little bit of that. Let's see if I can do that. I'm going to take just a little bit of paint, bring it up here, and just flick the brush a little bit to soften those edges. Maybe use my finger. But you can see I soften that around here. Soften that one a little bit. Left this one a little hard. Soften those, left that one a little hard. But come in here, might soften this guy just a hair. Break that up, well, maybe over here. Just my fingers enough, probably. And there you get a chance to kind of helps, helps the eye a little bit. All right, one of the last details I'm gonna add is instead of that house, I'm just gonna put some farm junk around the barn so it's not so alone. Uh, you see, there's just kind of this empty void. So I'm just gonna to try to suggest a little bit of junk and you know, kind of laying around. Most of these farms have some old stuff and uh, See if I can kind of suggest some of that old stuff just sitting there. You can kind of see I threw in some junk and a little fence line uh, just for the heck of it. And I think that's going to probably finish off the painting. And we'll see how it does in the studio.